Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Aries. Ooh, so we have lessons. Hmm. Has somebody learned their lesson here? We have lessons and five of cups. So somebody is, um, you and your, if you're, if this is your reading, you're definitely in separation from your twin. Um, and the separation was necessary. Um, because there were there was growth that needed to happen. Um, there were lessons that needed to still be taught. Somebody is in regret though. Somebody's grieving and sad. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. Somebody's definitely going through it. Dark night of the soul. Yeah, emptiness, disconnection. Mm -hmm. Ten of swords. Oof. Somebody is really going through it. Clarify lessons. So whoever is learning lessons is this King of Wands here. It did come out. I don't read reversals in this deck because it's not a reversals deck. But um, this person, it could be a fire sign. This could have been somebody that is learning lessons and, you know, being lustful or being selfish. Um, yeah, self-serving. Mm -hmm. Could be a fire sign, an Aerial or a Sag. Yeah, the lovers. They're sad over this connection. Somebody's definitely sad over this connection. That's four of pentacles. They may be going through this. You guys may be disconnected, but this person's still holding on to you. They're in the midst of the dark night of the soul. Or you're somebody you guys could both be. I don't know. I think how it resonates, but somebody is still holding on to you through this. We have the queen of wands here. Ooh, this is somebody that's maybe having an ending with somebody else. Or, mm, who is this? Well, we do have the king and queen of wands here. So you guys could be both fire signs or what is it? What about this queen of wands and the ten of swords? Whoever the queen of wands is, this is there was a painful ending, a betrayal here. So about the queen of wands, the six of swords. This is somebody that they're moving away from. So this person could have been married, divinely guided to do what? Yeah, somebody's being divinely guided to close out a cycle here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Maybe they've already closed out that cycle. Now they've entered the dark night of the soul. They're kind of just spending some time with themselves, doing a lot of introspection, kind of not doing great. All right, they're going through it, but that's probably where they need to be right now. But it's like somebody is finally moving on from something here, and it didn't end well, like at all. But the, they started listening to the divine guidance. Spirit wants to assure you that this connection that you have with your twin is is protected, but they're definitely in the process or already have closed out a cycle. So what does this mean for my collective? This could have been their wife. Yeah, they were definitely had you in a third party situation. If this person was trying to friend zone you, now they're wanting to turn this into something. Exactly. Right as I'm saying that now they want to manifest this into something more. Yeah. Aries energy, Virgo energy, Gemini energy. Yes, definitely wanting a new beginning with you. So with the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands here, they were married or I don't know. I'm also getting to, I mean, this is not always, always the case. Like I said, it could be two fire signs. If it's not that, they were in some type of, this, this connection between them was purely sexual, purely passion. There was no like real, like found solid foundation there between them and this person. Hmm. But whatever it is, they're moving on from that situation and they're closing on a cycle. And it's like the divine has been guiding them to do this. But why the Ten of Swords, though? Why the Ten of Swords? The devil. Ooh. Something was really toxic about that connection. Ten of Swords. Okay, so the devil. What about the devil and the Ten of Swords? What's the tea? Gossip asking about you. What about what's the tea? Forbidden. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> Nine of Swords. Somebody was, what? But why a painful ending or a betrayal? Star, the worst is over. Well, whatever the, the, the hard part was when it came to this ending, Spirit says it's over. But why was it hard when it came to them walking away from this other situation? Why was it hard for them? The Eight of Wands and the, maybe things just kind of suddenly, they had like a sudden clarity or like they suddenly saw the truth about something what's that mean for why they the ten of swords though the yeah about a karmic Ooh, they suddenly found out something Ooh, did they finally oh 
for some of you, ooh, they were in a nightmare situation. They were so regret being in this situation now with this person. They like suddenly saw like either this, this karmic partner's dark side. It's like they suddenly found out something about this other person. Or they, in what way? The death card, whatever it was, I don't know, guys. I don't know what it was that they found out about. Ooh, taming hunger, taming a player trying to resist temptation. But what's this have to do with why they, what they found out? Seven of Pentacles. They read. See, the thing is, guys, <laughs> what I think happened. I don't know. If, I think that they did. Maybe something was revealed to them about this third party. Okay, I think that they. It was definitely more passion between the two of them than anything more stable. Or you know, there, there's no cups here. Yeah, there's no. Is there cups here? Mm -mm. I mean, the five of cups, that's just regret, but no. They do have, feel I feel like they've always had, um, with the three of cups, they've always had feelings and emotions for you, but it's like almost that like they tried to keep you in the friend zone or something like that, or they tried to keep things kind of more surface level with you, even if they did feel something deeper for you. I feel like what's happening here. I don't know why they were trying to, to be with this other person or what the circumstances were or how they ended up with this person. But it's like, it's almost like they tried to be with that person, but like all they could think about was you. They were always wondering what you had going on or who you were with, obsessing over you. But they felt like, it, they've been feeling like it's forbidden to come towards you. I don't know if their family doesn't want the two of you together or there's just some major differences between the two of you. But this person is has been, is not doing well. well Tell me about forbidden. Why is the nine of swords here? Why is someone in the nine of swords energy? The hermit? Mm, I told, that's that dark knight of the soul energy. Nine of swords and the hermit. Virgo energy. The king of pentacles. What are the king of pentacles? The five of pentacles. They're stressed out over money. See, because what was the tower? See, cannot be trusted. I'm telling you. I don't know what happened with them and this other person. They thought for some reason, if they withdrew from you, they may have thought that this person was going to, what? For some of you, they saw this as a financial opportunity with this other person. And actually what ended up happening was that they ended up getting left out in the cold or reject, something happened. Some type of tower moment where it's like they realized that they couldn't trust somebody or somebody had promised them something that wasn't even true. Like they somebody made a false promise to them or they were they were manipulating them or using their weaknesses against them. Hmm. And it was a tower moment. OK, so I don't really know. It's like they're reevaluating something now. It's like even though that they I don't did they. So what? what how do they feel about um, my collective? The three of swords, they feel hurt by you. Why? Or they feel hurt by the situation. The ace of wands. What about the ace of wands? The moon. The nine of wands. Okay. Manifesting you. Why? Now they want you back, but why? And they're all up in their head about you. Now why do they want you back, though? Because they feel like they got to do right by you. Yeah, but they know that they have to cut off this karmic or these karmic ties to be able to come in and for things to change between the two of you. Mm -hmm. Well, why didn't they now they want something, an equal give and take? Um, Why did they choose it? How did they even end up with this other person? How, why did they choose this other person, Spirit? Strength, Leo energy. See, what is this about? Taming emotions and taming hunger. This doesn't make any sense, y'all. I hope that this isn't why this person was chose this other person over you. It's like this person chose another person over you. You know what? There, I'm getting so many things right now, and it's that's why I can't figure out which one I want to start with. First of all, it's almost like they felt like they had to go to that situation or stay in that situation. And so they were in a place where they felt like they could be completely, like, just committed to one person because this person is lustful. I told you, the, them and this person are both very lustful. 
I don't know if these were two people that were cheating on each other. I don't even know. But it's something weird going on where they made me feel like they had a lot of obstacles to overcome. They also were trying to, like, kind of suppress their emotions and feelings. They were trying to, they thought that they could just kind of run away from this connection, go to this other person and kind of suppress all their feelings and emotions. They were with this other person and all they could think about was you. All they wanted was you. Also, I feel like you're definitely dealing with a player type energy. So, tell me more about why they chose this other situation. The Hierophant? Yeah, what about, yeah. The Five of Wands. There's this, I'm telling you, this person wasn't sure if they were ready for an actual commitment. Like a commitment, commitment. So, I don't know what type of connection they had with this other person. I don't know if this other person was like they had an open relationship or this person allowed them to have more than one person or they felt like they could easily manipulate that other person. I don't know what it was. And they, they, they kind of saw that that's, they're kind of an opportunist or something like that. They kind of saw that situation as an opportunity for them, at least for the, the present moment. But yeah, it's like, I feel like they were conflicted over whether or not they wanted to Taurus energy if they wanted to be in a committed relationship. Yeah, because they... They didn't, and also they didn't un fully understand this connection that was going on between the two of you. Yeah, do doesn't totally understand their love for you. They were conflicted about a lot of things. Their feelings for you, whether or not they wanted to be a commitment, if they were ready to settle down with one person. I don't think that they were telling you all this though. So if they, if they chose to stay in a situation or they chose to go towards another situation, it's because they felt like they could stay in a conflicted mind state. They felt like they could stay kind of in limbo and in, in between and they didn't have to fully commit and... They were also trying to run from these feelings and emotions because they didn't understand them and they were intense. Okay, so now what's happening here? <laughs> I do feel like they're being guided out of that situation, though. Yeah, right as I'm saying that, I didn't even see what I had drew, but Ten of Wands, they're releasing something that's been very stressful. Yeah, for some of you, it's a, a marriage or it's like a living situation, a commitment. Tell me about the Four of Wands. Yeah, they're withdrawing from something. Some of you, they did get a divorce. Wait, yeah, feelings of neediness, hopeful they'll return. They're waiting on something. What are they waiting on? They're thinking that you're going to be back to them, but this is coming back to them, but this is an illusion. They're watching you. I feel like they're they're trying, they don't want you to know this. They're watching you in this, you know, yeah, justice. They feel like they need to make something right with you. It's But they're still kind of waiting for you to come in and kind of make things right with them. Like you be the one to extend the olive branch. Yeah, there's that Six of Pentacles. They know that the right thing to do would be to give you something equal and balanced. But Queen of Swords, though. Oh, you're in your yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like either they're going to really put in the work or you don't want anything to do with this. I heard they're going to have to show you Six of Wands, cold as ice. Yeah, Knight of Wands. See, this person is very prideful. See, I didn't I say that money focus. Money, money over love, money affecting your love life. So again, that other situation that they chose over you or whatever, they chose it because of money. It was an opportunity for they, they viewed it as an opportunity. I don't know. I think that something turned out to, to be what they, how do I say that? They thought something was going to be something that it is. It didn't turn out to be like it was an illusion or somebody was tricking them. Somebody was manipulating them. They thought that they were going to be able to get some type of money or some type of something from that situation. And it didn't turn out to be that way. And for a lot of you, now they feel kind of stuck there. I don't know if they married this person for money. There's like this energy. What is the status of the connection between the two of them? Are they? I don't know if they'll give me this information, but I do see that they're walking away from it. But is it? Are they married to that person? Straight. What's the set? What is going on between the two of them? The Ace of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. Spirit's not really telling me. I guess that means it doesn't matter. All they're wanting you to know is that this person's trying to work up the courage and to like come towards you. They're trying to overcome some type of obstacles to have some type of new beginning in love with you because they have a lot of emotion for you. They're coming towards you very slowly, though. It could be an Earth sign for some of you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They're coming towards you very slow. Um, they are coming towards you with a pinnacle, though. So they're coming towards you with something stable. Um, and they're coming towards you with wanting something balanced, wanting to be fair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Recip reciprocity there, but spirit says it's going to happen in divine timing. Yeah. They got to release this other connection. I don't know if it's a marriage. What is this four of wands situation? Four of wands, wheel of fortune, whatever it is, it's changing. 
yeah undecided what's the four of wands or maybe again it's just that this person's not sure this person has just not been sure if they want a commitment yeah they've been very conflicted maybe they've been very conflicted about who they want to commit to okay especially if this person has been like giving them money or something like that No, I don't think that they're in a full-blown commitment with this person. It's almost, they've been working on something with this person. They've been like, kind of like maybe, they maybe live with this person. They may work with this person. They pay bills with this person. They have asked, something like that. But it's like, they've been trying to decide who they feel like they want to completely give like a full-blown connect uh, commitment to. Or like who they really want to settle down with. And they definitely, unfortunately guys, they have been conflicted between you and somebody else. So... Um, what do I want to look at here? Okay. But the thing is, I told you, they're getting some type of, something is suddenly changing to the point where they know exactly who they want to be with. They know exactly who they want to settle down with. And they're closing out a cycle with this other person. I don't know if they're starting to realize that they don't love that person, that it was just sexual between the two of them and that, that, that was that. Um, I don't know if that's what they're realizing or we're going to get more clarity on that in a second. Yeah, I just saw a breakthrough on the back of the deck. Yeah, definitely some type of breakthrough or clarity here. I did think I just saw the cold as ice card or not the cold as ice, the, um, what is it called? Coldness or whatever. I don't know. It might come out, but this may be because you're pulling away from them. Let's see. What is happening here? What does this mean for my collective? I don't care about that third party situation or, you know, the other person. So we have the journey. It says this love may be long and challenging, but so long as you are with them, you'll never walk alone. We have old wounds. Their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships. Like I said, they're all they're very conflicted about being in something long-term and stable and committed because they've had they have a hard time even cultivating relationships like that. Or they they have run from you know, having relationships like that is because of like their childhood trauma or because of past relationship issues. It's almost like this person doesn't really trust in their ability to be able to cultivate something that is long lasting and meaningful. Yeah, but they do see potential in you though. They're deep in their thoughts about you realizing their distractions prevented them from seeing the potential in you. Haunted. I told you, it's like this person can't stop thinking about you. They can't get away from you. And it's like, I don't know if they were expecting that or not. Their vivid dreams haunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on with someone else. Spirit's not letting them get away with what they did to you. If they hurt you, if they cheated on you, if they put you in a third party situation, they hid things from you, just know they're getting their karma. I told you, this person's going through it, guys. They're not doing well. Um, just know that. They're going through their karma. They're getting karma. They're haunted by what they've done to you. And you, you ended up with another person completely leaving them behind. That's their reality. And that's the reality that they've created for themselves. All right, we have unsighted. Yep, because, yeah, they are unable to see the complete extent of the toxicity they brought into the connection because that's all that they know. So I don't know if this is still how they feel or this is how they were feeling when they were with you. But they, they were like, because they're so used to toxicity, they, they didn't even see how toxic they were to you at some point. What about in the present moment? We have past life. And we have the, yeah, this was on the back of the deck. So, yeah, the gods favor you. So, the tables are the situation is turning in your favor. Now is the time your prayers have been heard and you will succeed and be vindicated. See, this person is going to be in deep regret. They're watching you. I'm telling you, they're not doing well. It's like you're on the top of the wheel. They're on the bottom of the wheel now. So, it, they're, you're getting good things. They're getting bad things right now. And this is probably where they need to be. This is that dark night of the soul. This is where they need to be to be able to really, because they've been in this energy where they don't think that they're, they think their shit doesn't stink, right? They don't think that they've done anything wrong to you. So now they're about to really sit with everything that they've done to you and really come to, to terms, fully come to terms with what they did and how wrong it was. And that's where they need to be for, for there to be changed, right? For them to change, to not do it again, um, whether it's with you or, you know, to somebody else, but... For a lot of you, their karma is this other connection. I don't, I haven't really gotten a good read on what's, there's some turmoil going on with this person, but they probably, they're in a situation where they need to be at right now. Okay. So whoever that person that they're with is serving a purpose in your journey with this person. And we do have the journey card. I know that, I hope that makes sense. I hope that a lot of you guys understand what I'm saying. Whoever this karmic is, whoever this other person is, is actually serving a purpose 
in your twin flame journey with this person because there this is where your person needs to be to have these realizations unfortunately they weren't going to have them with you they're having them now and they're not liking it and they're not liking where they're at they hate it there okay so yeah it says their soul and then this is why they're also getting punished because they knew from the beginning it says their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you they knew you were the one they've been waiting for they knew it they knew that they saw but i feel like you intimidated this person yeah, they they saw they felt like you were very powerful. You felt like you were very magical. Like you felt like you were a force, and I feel like that really intimidated this person. But just know, you're probably about to hear from this person, and they're in deep regret. Yeah, they're having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly, much less expecting you to forgive them. We have unexpected here, though. The answers you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might be too late, or you have moved on. Mm -hmm. What is unexpected? They are definitely watching you. They're also starting to realize that they had no reason to treat you the way that they did. If they were scared of you, if they treated you like this out of fear, they're starting to realize they had no reason to even feel that way about you. They're afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion is keeping... Oh, I was picking up on that. They've been in some type of illusion when it comes to you, not seeing things clearly when it comes to you. Yeah, they, they, were, they thought that you would get hurt probably because they were so intimidated by you. They just thought that, you know, and because of their own insecurities, their own self-image... They thought that you were going to hurt them and it was not even true. And I think they're going to start to realize that. But it says it's keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. So I told you they do have these feelings and emotions for you, but it's like they've been running from them and they've been suppressing them because for some reason they've been in this illusion that this love that they have for you is going to end up getting them hurt or heartbroken. That could also be with this Queen of Wands and this Ten of Swords. Yeah, they're definitely going through the dark night of the soul. I already, we, dark night of the soul, dark night of the soul. They're experiencing massive upheaval. Mm -hmm. Massive upheaval. To help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. And I feel like part of their upheaval is with another person. I'm going to be honest with you. They're going through something with somebody else. Or there's somebody that they already had in their life. They needed to, to completely destruct that foundation or whatever that was in their life to be able to fully be with you. And that's what's happening now. They're, they desire you a lot, but it's like they've been trying to just kind of stay away from you and kind of just leaving it up to the universe, to like hoping that when the time is right, the two of you will be able to come together because they're going through massive love evil. Um, But they desire you. It's something that they feel like they cannot get from anybody else but you. They have an insatiable thirst, the thirst that no one else but you can satisfy, craving you more and more. Yeah. There's something about the way that they were raised or the way that their family operates or the way that they're used to operating in relationships that you were on, you were on one page and they were on another page and you're like, no, we're not, you're not bringing that toxic family dynamic shit over here. So if you want to be with me, because it says taming the beast, you make them putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. So they, whatever, however they've been operating in relationships or in their family or whatever, they know that with you is not, they can't be that with you. Yeah, there's definitely a heavy, I mean, obviously you guys are twins, but the energy, they feel that they feel that even if they're not spiritual, they don't know about twin flames. They feel you still, but they're in this. Why are they in grief? Gesture. Why are they grieving? Mixed signals, grieving and mixed signals, battle of the wits. This person is upset because you, they're used to the back and forth between you and this, between the two of you. You're not going back and forth with them anymore. I don't, you guys have probably had an on and off again relationship with them. They're sad because they feel like they can't tell if you still want them or not yet. And they're mad. They're also sad and in grief because you're holding back. You're kind of matching their energy. Like you're, you're being as guarded as they are guarded. You're being, you're holding back as much as they're holding back. You're not laying all your cards on the table. Just like they don't. It's like, I don't know if this person's used. To, didn't I say that already? This person's been waiting for you to come back towards them. You're not doing it. So they're over there sad and grieving. And when when they have the power to, they have the power. Why are they always waiting for you to do something? They are going to do something though. With this gesture card, it says you can expect some kind of gesture to help strengthen your connection, give them a chance to prove themselves. That's why they're sad. They're not, they're used to the back and forth between the two of you. I don't think that you're, you're, you're not doing this anymore. So it's like, yeah, brewing up. Be ready to expect the unexpected, which we did have that unexpected card that came out earlier. Because something is brewing and it's gaining momentum. 
I think this person is finally about to reach out to you, but their fear is that you have moved on, that you have found somebody else, that you will reject them. But yeah, breaking free. They are freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison, leaving behind all that kept them away from you. And then we have anxiously waiting here. So yeah, this is definitely somebody that has been waiting for you to come back to you, to come back to them. They are definitely going through massive upheaval. They are spending more time alone. I don't know if they've ended that other situation or not. It's almost like they're still in the process of it. I don't know, or they have. But it's like, yeah, they're leaving all that is familiar to them or a long-term relationship to start a brand new life with you, like I said. Be careful, guys. This person is still going through this ending and this upheaval and this uprooting, but they will try to sleep with you. There's something they want, the sex with you. Yeah, they want the spirit, the, the sexual union with you, or they just want to be near you while they're still going through this shit. And the spirit is saying that you need to make sure your boundaries are in place. And it's, this person's actually going to respect you more yeah they love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them including them seriously so saying be careful of letting this person come into your life like sleeping with them interacting with, with, you just need to be very careful with your interactions with this person at this time because they are going through they're they're very unstable they're going through a lot of instability and whatever they're going through they need to go through um it is best that you not get involved in that or interfere with that because, like, everything that's happening needs to happen the way that it's happening. You know what I mean? And, you know, just be aware of also this person trying to take from you. Do they really, they want to sleep with you? I mean, unless you guys want a strictly sexual connection with this person, I don't really see that right now. They have much else to offer you. All right? To offer you. All right? To 